So, um, I think I talked about that I still need to decide on a name for that new um, agency because we changed structure and we had two fuel and we're not doing two fuel anymore and I've been overthinking it and I've, I've been struggling to decide on a name because I thought it's so super significant and you have to have the perfect name and you know everything needs to be in place, Web, website, you need the .com can't exist in any shape or form whatsoever before and so we don't have a company name and that's a problem because that's what you need if you want to legitimize so I think I have a name I think I'm gonna call it project 33 why you might ask I don't know but I think it's a cool name so in terms of a domain um, I'm looking right now at um, GoDaddy and the IO domain is still free. So the .com doesn't exist, that's fine. I don't give a shit. Um, but I actually think IO is super cool and it's super trendy right now. And I know it's mostly for tech companies, but you know, we're also future oriented. So, and I think it looks dope. Project33.io. Um, why 33? I don't know, kind of looks cool. Um, I also think it's kind of cool because it's like humble, you know? It's like Project 33, it's like, it's like a number. It's like, it's not Project 1, it's not Project Super Important, it's not Secret Project, it's just Project 33. There's Project 32, there's Project 34, we're Project 33. I like that idea. And um, looking at LinkedIn, there are two things called, um, where is it now? God damn it, wait, let me open it again. So if you Google Project 33, you find Project 333, which is like something with wearing clothes. There's Project 33, but it's this. Obviously there's some shit that's like Project 33. Like I think, yeah, this is like a place in Singapore. Um, this is all Project 333. There's project three, project three three dot com. Is this? It's a fucking shitty ass website. I don't know what the fuck this is. And look at it. This is copyright nineteen ninety nine to um, two thousand and eleven. So this doesn't even have copyright anymore. So I think that's not a problem. And then if we're looking at LinkedIn, um, company pages. And I actually do think that this doesn't matter so much because number one, you can always change your name. Like there's rebranding, people really don't give a shit. Like really. Um, so if we look at project 33 on LinkedIn, and then we look at companies. So there are two things. Project 33, that's an automotive. Um, that's kind of nice because they say here, um, we are now Amber Mobility, so they renamed. Um, they still have the company page, but and they have this website, which is kind of shitty. And then, um, and then this Project 33. Oh, and, and that Project 33 had like four employees, and this doesn't even have a logo. It doesn't have anything, that's the website. They have two employees, there's nothing on here. So, and you can have things with, with a name. I don't, I don't also don't think it's a problem with trademark because we didn't incorporate it and um, it's an international business. So if anyone in the US comes at me and says like, trademark, I got it. I'm like, bro, I'm not in your jurisdiction. I'm not in the US, come at me, bro. So I think that's not a problem. Um, and I mean, I, I looked at other, other like numbers, like project 37 sounded interesting, project 73 sounded interesting, project 30, I think six or something. But for every number, something exists, like a movie project, like some other company, like someone's place, pretty much for every number, there is something out there. But for Project 33, there's nothing massive that we're competing with. Um, 
and I just like Project 33 the most, and they have the website.io because that's also doesn't exist for all of them. So I think we're gonna go with that. Yeah, and then, then we're gonna make it into something, okay? What do you guys think? Let me know, but I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna buy the domain, all right? Yeah. Okay, we now made some progress. Um, I just set up the first, um, look at it, project 33. We got a site under construction. Um, yeah, there's nothing there yet. I also set up all the social accounts, like just making sure that I have all the handles. Um, Project33.io, I have the LinkedIn. That's the only two I put up on the, on the website, but I got the, I got the Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and all of it, just making sure that I have the handles. Um, yeah, I mean, I started playing around a bit with logo. This is literally, <coughs> this is how far my creativity got me so far using Canva. So that's um, pretty. But I also realized, um, I think there's some fun stuff you can do. I just talked with a friend of mine who does logo design and we're gonna hop on a call on Thursday. That's the earliest he can do to kind of have a brainstorming session because he said there's some potential with playing around with it. So. I think I kind of like this having the IO in the actual logo or name, even though it's the website, but for me, it kind of represents the um, future um, forward-facing concept behind, behind um, the company. And I also think it might actually be that I can use Project 33 as an umbrella for for what I'm doing, maybe incorporate with the with the house and company that I want to start here in Bali. Because if you think about it, what we're doing with the agency, it's a PR agency. So what I could do is have kind of Project 33 as the umbrella company and then PR 33, which is, you know, short, but it also stands for Public Relations 33, as the daughter company for the personal branding stuff. Those are just ideas, but um, I think it's funny to to first decide on the name and then kind of afterwards realize that there's like potential to actually make sense out of it. Because as you guys know, I completely drove, chose it by random. I just thought it's a cool name. Um, but yeah, I mean, decide on a logo. Um, I still got to decide whether I want it to be Project 33 or Project 33.io or PR33 or even just P33 or, you know, I also had this very random idea for a logo. I don't know yet, but um, yeah. Let me know if you have any ideas. <coughs> I don't know, am I getting sick for what? Not sick, sick. <clears throat> I just made a video about um, announcing um, that I decided on a name and while I was making the video, I started to overthink it again because I was like, well, you know what? What if I decide to change the name again? What if people don't like the name? What if, you know, there's a better name out there? What if people then tell me, you know what? You can't use this name because of copyright issues or whatever. And then on the other hand, the, the on the flip side, I'm like, ah, you know, should I just wait longer and wait until this is fully built out and the website is all ready and, and like the logo is decided on and it's all cleaned up? And I'm like, no, because like that's what I wanted. Like you both, you can do both. You not, No, you, you can't do both at the same time, but you can do either one. And there's no right or wrong, I think. You can wait until you have fully fledged out your your, your company and your name and your identity and your logo and your design and everything and then show the finished product or you can show the process. I'm more interested in showing the process. I mean, you guys know that. Um, the only thing was that I was thinking maybe LinkedIn is not the best platform to show the process, like show more the process on YouTube and then show the finished project product on, on LinkedIn. And I'm like, you know what, fuck that. I'm just gonna talk about the name now while the website is not finished, while I haven't finished the logo yet, while, you know, all of these things. I mean, I bought the website. 
So I'm not gonna go back on that name just because I would lose money. Like that would just be stupid. I'm not gonna lose money. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I'm gonna post that. It's just a weird feeling, you know, like announcing something like that. And then again, on the flip side, like I realize we make announcement to be so big and in the end, no one gives a shit. Like for you watching this vlog, for me, it's like, oh my God, such an important decision. What's the name of my company? And then for you, it's like, oh, <laughs> that's kind of interesting. And that's it, right? There's a discrepancy on how much you care and how much I care. And that's how it should be. You should care less than I do because, well, it's my company. It's not your company, right? But I think we um, sometimes in our head make other people we imagine other people must be caring about this thing as much as we do because we project and it's just wrong. So, yeah, I don't know. That was just a ramble. Now I'm gonna edit the vlog and then I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm super stoked to go to the gym. I can't fucking wait to go to the gym. Yeah, I... and this is not a lie. What's up? Yes, I am naked right now. No, I actually just worked out and now I'm eating. Um, but I just had a call with my partner on the agency and we just did an exercise for an hour, which I think was super, super, super valuable. And that is to write down um, all of the company roles um, that kind of need to be filled and then assign them to him on me. Because mostly right now it's him, it's him, it's me. And then we have a couple of ghostwriters that write the content but everything else in terms of marketing, in terms of sales, in terms of running the company, in terms of you know all the financials, video editing, like a lot of the roles are just split between Ben and me. And um, I think to have some better clarity, both in terms of what we actually do and then also to better understand how we can scale because once we establish all of the different roles that we kind of um, incorporate, we better understand, okay, you know, I, for example, I am the CEO, so that's one of my roles, but I'm also video editor right now. And I am also the salesperson right now because I'm taking the discovery calls. And once you have that, you better understand, okay, I can outsource the video editor role that I have, and I can start outsourcing the, the sales representative um, role that I have, and more focus in on these things. And so that's what we did. We wrote down all of the the roles that we have and, and assign them and kind of decide what, what they what they actually do and now the next step is and we have another call on Saturday to actually create workflows and um, better streamline how um, how and when these different roles um, um, are important in each journey of each client so that's what we're gonna do on Saturday and this was super useful and now I'm gonna continue eating. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate to love. But why now? Holy shit. I just wanna make a trip to the child.